Hey, what's up, everybody? So, pretty big news coming from CoinWorld.com. They are reporting the House approves bill allowing the United States Mint to choose coinage metals within limits. And I think there's a pretty big reason why they are kind of highlighting the nickel, the Jefferson nickel, in this depiction on this article. But we are going to take a look at this article. We're going to discuss it. We're going to try to figure out what this means. I kind of have an idea already. But let me know in the comment section below what do you think their plans are. If this actually passes through the Senate, I believe this still has to pass through the Senate. But it says legislation is moving through Congress seeking changes in the metallic composition of circulating United States coins. Possible changes in the compositions of circulating United States coins move one step closer to fruition December 2nd with the House's passage of H.R. 779. Five. I wonder what else is tied into H.R. 7795, which would be part of the key of this thing actually passing through the Senate. But anyway, let's continue on with this article. The Coins Metal Modification Authorization and Cost Savings Act of 2020, the proposed legislation now moves to the U.S. Senate for consideration. H.R. 7795 was introduced in the House on August 11, 2020 by a Republican representative. The bill was referred to the House Committee on Financial Services before being brought to the full House December 2nd, where it was considered under suspension of House rules. The House voted 343 to 41 for passage. Very interesting. Proposed legislation, if passed in the Senate and signed into law by the President, would allow the mid director in consultation with the Treasury Secretary to change the metallic compositions of circulating United States coins. Um, so we're going to go look at another article. There was another article that I'd never seen from Coin World that gives a little bit more details about this. All right, we're taking a look at this article from Coin World, and this was actually put out on October 7th, which I've never seen. But we're going to take a look at this as well. But we want to actually look at this, well, this paragraph right here and the one right below it. It says, by tweaking the metal composition of our coins, the U.S. Mint could, in short term, create more coins due to the temporary temporary shortage and, in the long term, save millions of dollars every year without any significant changes to the coins, weight, or appearance. Hassan told Coin World, given the severe strain on the COVID-19 pandemic has put on families and our economies, people and businesses cannot afford to literally be shortchanged because there simply isn't enough coins out in circulation. This is fiscally responsible and common sense legislation. I hope my colleagues will join Senator and me in moving this bill forward. So obviously the bill was moved forward. Now let's go down here and take a look at this here where it says composition research. Under provisions of the Coin Modernization Oversight and Continuity Act of 2010, public law 111-302 and act December 14, 2010, the U.S. Mint has been conducting ongoing research and development of compositional alternatives for the copper-plated zinc Lincoln cent, copper nickel Jefferson five-cent coin, copper nickel clad Roosevelt dime, and copper nickel clad america the beautiful quarter dollars i think the key word to all of this is 
copper. I'll get more into that in just a few moments. The cent and five cent coin currently costs more than face value to produce. Yeah, no kidding. The Mint has forwarded to Congress biannual reports on their results and their findings from research starting in December 2012 with the last report submitted in 2019 for 2018. The Mint has come up with potential compositional alternatives that offer cost savings for circulation coinage, but not for the cent. Now, that's that's interesting. Does not for the cent? So does that mean that they could possibly eliminate that cent? And I kind of talked about that on a earlier video. What getting rid of the cent could do? Getting rid of the cent would probably increase prices by at least five cents for uh, everything that we purchase. While possible alternatives for the scent have been developed, none of these possibilities would bring a cost below face value according to the most recent reports. Possibilities determined by the mint for the five cent dime and quarter dollar denominations would incorporate manganese with varying percentage of copper, nickel, and alloy. Manganese is currently used in the composition of the Native American and American Innovation dollar coins, neither of which is struck for circulation release. Other alternatives metal compositions include alloys, alloys involving steel. Complete findings from the biannual reports can be found on the Mint website and they put the link. So this is all very interesting. I think what they want to do is I think they want to remove as much copper as they possibly can, possibly remove all the copper, maybe even remove the nickel and replace it with mostly steel, manganese, it will be very interesting to see what they do if this actually passes through the Senate. I think the key to passing through the Senate is to see if there's any other garbage that is attached to this bill other than just um, changing the metal composition in our circulating coinage. Definitely, if this passed the House, there's a very real possibility that they also put garbage in this bill attached other uh, bills that they want to further their uh, political agendas but anyway let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below i find this uh, very interesting and i think the reason why they highlight this nickel is because i believe the nickel is 75 percent copper and they probably want to get that out of the nickel since like they said in the article they lose money on the nickel. They lose money on the cent, the Lincoln cent. And they're probably losing money on a vast majority of their coins that they produce. And I think they want to get rid, mostly they want to get rid of the copper that is in these cents. Which is why I have been hoarding, collecting um, Lincoln Sense copper Lincoln sense for quite some time. I do believe at some point they do want to get rid of the the scent entirely because, like they said, even though they're trying to find different metals for the Lincoln scent, they're having a hard time trying to find the right metal composition so that they stop losing money. And I think it's going to end up coming down to if they want to stop losing money on the Lincoln scent, they're going to have to entirely just get rid of it and uh, move on. And everything that we purchase will probably have to be rounded up by five cents. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.